Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. I, I would like to see him more of a box to box now because yeah, he yeah, can yeah. do that. Well, mm. he's got that in the bag all day. Yeah, he can do that. All day, like I say, I agree with you. I think he's been he's been playing a more defensive role mm. with West Ham because it's West Ham. Yeah, That's the way you got to do. Well, you can't yeah. go marauding everywhere. But I think if he joins one of these big boys, we could see a proper player. Yeah, mm. proper. Well, what player. do you make? Of, did you see it last night when he's literally won the cup, walked off the pitch, and the journalist has gone, "Are you leaving then?" Or fuck it, like, yeah. that's shit, who was that? It? I don't know. I actually don't know who it was, but. I just saw it and I thought that's shit. He no answered class. it well though, didn't he? Yeah, no class that. No yeah, class. No, what poor. do you want him to say? Yeah, I'm leaving. Like, yeah. come on. Do you know what I mean? Like, have you ever been there in like the heat of the moment? You see it with, like with cyclists when they come down off a mountain and someone asks them a stupid yeah. question and they go, oh, why is he being arsey? Have you ever had that where you've got, you two, where you've been in, and someone's asked I you had that it, You know, I had it after the Youth Cup final. So it was my first, so we had a press conference, my first ever press conference. I'm sat there and um, I won't name the name of the report. You'll know him. He says to me, oh, um, no, I'm I'm fuming now. We just lost five one in the final. I'm stood there, stood up on the side of the pitch. I've got seven thousand West Ham fans singing. You're getting sacked in the morning. I'm raging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to the press conference, and he says to me, um, oh, "I really like the fourth goal." So I thought, like, didn't it didn't register, and then it did. I went, "What? What do you mean, West, West Ham's fourth goal?" And he went, "Yeah, it was a really good goal, wasn't it?" I was like, "What? What, what the fuck? Why are you telling me that, mate? Like." I don't know. I don't want to talk about That's that. That's his job. Like yeah. his job is to ask these sort of questions yeah, that make that. you, yeah, make you get like proper answers that you can use in a in a paper yeah. or something. Yeah. Should we do a bit of manager? Yeah, chat? quick so, manager talk. So, we're gonna we're gonna quickly talk about Sokwe in a second and just sit, look talk about who you're looking forward to snapping on. Uh, well, let's on do Sunday that now. Night. Let's do that now because then we were. I want to talk about you guys and your time with England together because you spent a bit of time with England together. Didn't yes, you? we did. Yeah. So yeah. why don't we talk about who Jack's going to snap on? Sunday? Yeah. Are you looking for what? What were you looking for on Sunday night? Is there any anybody in particular? Or Anyone you just you've gone in for? You know what? I had a little bit of Goldstein. Today. Oh. oh, Goldstein's not playing. No, he's not playing. No, Goldstein's not playing. Wait, someone told me. He might be. Oh, yeah. Let's get him in. No. Someone was it in... Goldstein? No. <laughs> he was the next best person to Goldstein. Bente? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. No chance. Goldstein has got no... But even he's if he didn't play, famous he'd, he'd play for England. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll kill him. That'll kill him. <laughs> I want to see Andy, him play. You, would, if he was playing, would that be a nice little duel? Because obviously he did for a England, lot. wouldn't he? Uh, Mate, I'm English and I'm playing for the rest of the world team. He could play for anybody nowadays, <laughs> it seems. Uh, who am I, I? You know what? I've always wanted to play with Scolzi, man. Yeah, what a player! Yeah, it'd be lovely. I used to that. watch him with England, and he, I think we we never crossed over. I played against him, but he retired quite early from England. Yeah, didn't he, he? Did, he didn't like it. Nah. Yeah, he didn't enjoy it. Yeah, I'd love to play with him. So I will now. Oh yes, you will indeed. Um, yeah, is he is he your favourite? What out of Lampard, Gerard? And... No, I don't no, care about just... that. We don't do that question. Oh. That's the, everyone does that oh. question, all right? If you had to pick, yeah, I think so. If man. you had to put one player who you would look up to, if I, if I look at a profile of a midfielder that I'd want, is like Scolzi. Yeah, yeah, good. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. He's my favourite. One in the world. player He's my I need ever. to. Were you at Arsenal with Cozola? Yeah, he Santi. Was, he oh. was someone else, weren't he? No, he's... I saw he scored a goal the other day in the charity game. You seen it? No, he was doing the rounds on that like, Instagram. Hey, just. But he's like this big. Yeah, tiny. Really, he yeah. was a little bit fat as well. Right. Like, <laughs> you wouldn't mind me saying it. Not wrong with the belly, mate. Loved the beer. And like just when he had the ball at his feet. Like when, when he first came, right, we had this fitness coach <laughs> who would like take players and like, you know, you bat a fitness coach saying yeah, like, yeah. you don't know football or whatever, blah, blah, blah. He used to do football drills with him and he said to me, Jack, he's the best player I've ever seen. No. And I'd be like, what do you know? <laughs> no. Next day when I trained <laughs> and he was just like... He'd go into these areas like with three players around him and like he's so small he'd disappear and he'd just like come out with the ball. And then like we'd do set pieces and the gaffer would say, right, in swing and he'd just move, do it with his left. I still don't know what foot he, he is now. Oh. That's what they, but this player is right, right. We were we, we had um Oracle on the other day, so you know, like the stats yeah, people the stats people yeah, yeah, yeah. and the insights. And and they're great in football, the stats, but mm. we always say, don't we, you, that's only part of it. Yeah. Because when we had Joe Hart on, he said about David Silva, wouldn't it? He? he went got one foot he's slow he's yeah and physically then, he's, he's awful yeah yeah and like you put him on the pitch and it, mm. i guess it's the same with sandy you're yeah. going like you know but you put him on a football pitch and you no, can't you track that can no, you You can't that's no. why that's why i agree with the stats thing like it's, it has to be a part of it of course it does now yeah. but like the old days where you go and watch a player and go oh, he's all right i fancy him you can just take tell. a chance on him wouldn't it? yeah yeah you can yeah, see they it really do you? that anymore do they? no they don't it has to be stats and stuff has to be ticked off mm. and all that it's a load of bollocks absolute <laughs> load of bollocks right come on then manager talk 
England. So, um, yeah, so you played under Capello. Was Capello and... your first England manager? Was he? Yeah. Wow. Baptism fire. Who was your first? I'm not talking, I don't talk about Capello anyway. I didn't enjoy Capello, right? No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's the way that before. it goes. You have spoken about him before. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> times. Uh, Who was I your first then? Uh, my first ever England manager, Sven Goran Oakson, pulled me into the team, and then it was. Steve McLaren gave you his debut, didn't he? I was going to say Brian McClare then. <laughs> Steve what? McLaren, Steve McLaren, Steve McLaren yeah. um, Capello, um, and then Roy. Roy Hodgson. Roy Hodgson, obviously, we were out in Brazil with. Was Roy your last? Roy was my last, yeah. So when yeah. did you stop playing in England? Pretty much just after that, really. Pretty much after that. When Capello was manager, I had you a little started and stopped, didn't you? You started yeah. and stopped, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was fair enough anyway, because he had a lot of lot of good English goalies coming through, young English goalies coming through. So I was buzzing with that anyway. And I don't know what you were like. Sometimes the international breaks for me were just a little bit long. I know what you mean. Yeah. A little bit long. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was all right for Southern boys, if I'm honest. We yeah, broke, yeah, it was, weren't it? yeah, it was. Yeah, you're around the corner, yeah, weren't you? Yeah, I was literally around the corner. Yeah. Some of the northern lads, Manchester, yeah. any Newcastle, Liverpool, like that. Yeah, it's a, long, a, way, a long way away. Yeah. And you're away for two weeks mm. at a time and stuff. And it can it's, get a bit monotonous. The thing is, as well, it depends when it is in the season as well because you think we've got like September is usually a yeah. break isn't it and you think that's, that's a time where the players that aren't going will get a few days rest yeah, and, yeah. and you're going away and we had a golf day recently with an England player and you know the season had finished the day before they've got a game on the 16th of June yeah that, I could, that, that would be weird for me because I'm, I, I would struggle with that. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I ever experienced that. I might have had like a few days off and then went away, but imagine having nah, two, three weeks And then going and off. starting again. Some of them like going to Vegas and that, and then they've got to go and train yeah. again. Smashed, Smashed out of the bed for two yeah. weeks and then they've got to go and do a bit in nah. that. Quickly, just want to talk about that Brazil uh, World Cup then. Nah. Um, did you, How many games did you play in that? Did you play in all of them? No. I came on... So it was, it was Italy two. first? I came in the first two and then started yeah. the last one. Yeah, Italy f uh, yeah. first, then Uruguay, obviously lost the first two games, and then third one, Costa Rica. You played that yeah, one? Yeah, I played in that yeah. one as well with you, yeah. It's a weird game, that, wasn't it? Weird game, mate. Do you remember... They won our league, by the way, Costa Rica did. Yeah, I know. Do you remember Italy, Gary Lewin? Oh, that's his ankle yeah. one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's the ankle one. Do you remember this? We Gary oh, we Lewin came about on the, this. Gary came on the podcast. Mate, I was pissing myself at the said, time. He said he looked oh. up at Frank Lampard and his face yeah, like, was I remember Lamps. He was like, white. Oh, Whoa! We all yeah. jumped up, didn't we? Yeah, and there was that little bit. Great, the edge. it was yeah. a little bit of a great, and he got his studs caught in there. But yeah. I was pissing myself again. You silly twat, get up! What are you doing, mate? His ankle was all over the it shop. Was hanging it? out, wasn't it? Oh. He's here this week, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's here this week. Good old Gazlo. Mm. Good old. You Gazlo. need to do another injury podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't I really remember much. I do. Like, I remember the hotel. We changed we'd, though, didn't we? Every time we played a game, we'd play, we'd move to a different city yeah. in Brazil. So we'd, we'd always come back to. Yeah, the hotel, we were based we? in uh, on the Copacabana Beach in Rio. Yeah, um, and that was that was the base hotel, and it was all right. It was all right, but if you looked out the front, if you looked out the back, do you exactly. Remember? Yeah, I do. It was a bit. Yeah. And did you get on yeah. well with Roy? I did. I got on really well with Roy, and because uh, Gary Neville was with him, wasn't he? Yeah, I got on he really was well right, with yeah, Gary yeah. Neville. Like, I don't you know if you remember, you might. have just after that we, we changed the shape to like a four diamond two yeah. and he wanted me to play as a holder yeah okay yeah so I played there a few times I really enjoyed it and he helped me Gary Neville um, so I did like Roy yeah I'm looking forward to snapping Gaz Neville tomorrow on Sunday night. You can't run out and just snap him. Yes, he can. can. If he comes up for a corner, he's getting snapped, all right? And he's, he'll have the GoPro as well, Wayne. Just make sure you get it on the GoPro. GoPro, yeah. chest cam. And I'll look down and him and say, so I was Gaz. I'm only joking, Gaz. You know I'm only joking. <laughs> um, well, that was world class, mate. Jack, you're an absolute legend, mate. Um, there's still tickets available for Soccer Aid. Um, they are going fast, like we said. So if you want to get yourself some tickets, they're in the top of the link in the description down below. The link is in the top of the description. The down link below. is in the top of the description. I think down. you got it right first time. Yeah, I think I did. I think you did. Anyway, the link is in the top of the description down below. Um, Jack, we always finish every episode up the Foscast. Up the Foscast. Up the Foscast. Yes, you did it. I love it. Well done, mate. Brilliant. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Foscast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.